Long time entertainer, killed in McKinley, Crescent shooting. Nationwide news understand that a long time entertainer is among two people who were killed in a shooting on McKinley Crescent, St. Andrew last night. Preliminary information indicates that three other people were taken to hospital to be treated for gunshot wounds. Reports are sometime after 9 p.m. a group of people were at a popular place for socializing when they were approached by armed men who opened fire. The St. Andrew South Police have confirmed the incident. The police are deploying more resources in the area to quell potential reprisal acts. The police say the incident might be gang-related. Mighty Diamond lead singer killed in drive-by shooting. Kingston, Jamaica lead singer of stalwart reggae group Mighty Diamonds, Habby Diamond, was among two people killed in a drive-by shooting on McKinley Crescent in Kingston minutes before 10 on Tuesday night. Three other persons were injured in the attack. Police report that the 67-year-old singer, whose real name is Donald Arlanda Shaw, was among a group of people who were gathered at a section of the community when gunmen opened fire from a passing motor vehicle. Tabby Diamond and another man, whose identity was not yet being released, were pronounced dead at the hospital. The shooting has left members of the reggae industry in shock and grief as Tabby Diamond was known to be a staunch Rastafarian who embraced the philosophy of peace and love. The award-winning Mighty Diamonds are responsible for some of reggae's music, most memorable anthems including Pass the Kochi, Right Time, I Need a Roof, and Heads of Government. More details later. In further news, viewers and subscribers, female students stab at Peterfield Eye. Two other fights reportedly break out shortly after. Westmoreland, Jamaica, a student from the Peterfields High School in Westmoreland has been hospitalized after a stabbing incident at the institution on Wednesday. One female allegedly removed a knife from her underwear and stabbed another female student during an altercation during the first session of school on Wednesday morning. The injured student was rushed to hospital. Both students are said to be in grade 10. The remaining students were released from lessons at 10.30 a.m. after another fight ensued. This was diffused. A third incident took place outside the school grounds. This was also diffused by students. Parents were called in shortly after school was dismissed for an urgent meeting. More details soon. So viewers and subscribers, are we fighting or going to school from what day? You see me? It's like it's a trend thing. And what do you mean I say? Yo, I want this become a trend for the school then, but... Right across the island, students are fighting and they don't have to them tools and them something. They don't have to defend themselves. You see, but they need to find a way to take where the tools them from the students them, so they can stop damaging each other. You understand what I say? So, viewers and subscribers, please remember to hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe, turn on the post notification for your latest news and reviews.